Okay. Hello. I have red sand. And now we get to start Runaway Kid story. Or as I'm going to consistently call him, Seven. Because that's the name the fan base has given him. That is the name that is stuck in my head. That's what I'm gonna call him. I'm sorry if that is not what you want to be hearing him called, but it's my playthrough. I'm I I'm allowed to call him what I want. Cause he doesn't really have a name. It's just what the fan base gave him. And it it's what I call him. My rings are being very noisy. I'm sorry, I just watched two vehicles go down my road and I do to know where they're headed. I've never seen them before. I have the windows open today because it's 78 degrees. So, no air conditioner. Oh boy. <gasps> the dramatic gasp. The dramatic gasp of, oh my god, what just happened? That dang coffee pot is so noisy, I swear it picks up. Oh yeah, it definitely picks up. It normally doesn't sound that bad. I think it's getting to the point where I'm gonna have to get another coffee maker. Okay, so not that way, I don't think. This way, I think. And there goes Roger. Hi, Roger. Bye, Roger. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I'm just being random and weird. I'm allowed to do that. If I wasn't, it would be boring, right? Blip! Oh, looky, there's a leech. And the eyeball returns. One thing about this game that is consistent. There's always a thing with the eyes. It's so funny to me how much noise their feet make when they're literally barefoot. So their feet must be slapping the floor quite hard for it to make that much noise. You know? Just paper just randomly falling there. 
Okay. Just, just leave me behind, why don't you? Pretty sure that kid doesn't get away either. Simply because the only thing we see of her after all of this is nothing. If you played the game, you already know. If you've watched my previous less enjoyable quality videos on it then you know it's quite funny that I'm playing these games right now for the beginning of Spooktober when I was recently watching Little Nightmares theory videos <laughs> Not too long ago. Because every once in a while I like to watch theory videos on things. I used to do it with FNAF all the time. Do it, I still do to an extent, but not nearly as much. I mean, I'm just a casual fan when it comes to FNAF. I... The games aren't really my thing, but I like the story behind it. That's unfortunate. I like the story behind it, which is a fairly simple story, if you think about it, because there is not a lot of complexity to it. But I used to watch all kinds of theory videos on it because I was interested in that kind of stuff, and then I stopped after a while because I got um, I thought I moved far enough to the side, I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, I just... Being a casual fan, I don't really obsess over it like most of the fan base does. Like I said, most people were, who were obsessed with FNAF, the way that they obsessed over that was the way I obsessed over this when it came out. And the theories for these games are a lot more interesting. Because there's a lot of thought put into it. Go away, leeches! Dang it! Leave me alone! Now that's a pleasant sound. And here we go. More water. Yay. Casually make my way over here, climb up the wall, and then splash down into more water on the other side. Yay. There's so much water in this area, it's ridiculous. Give, give me. How far did that go? <laughs> it was all the way over there. Ooh. Uh, 
Okay, um, no thank you. Bye. <laughs> That's one of those cars that I saw earlier again. Also, sorry for the noise in the background. A while ago, I, like I said, don't live alone. So, sometimes people do things, but they didn't, didn't interfere with the recording. They just kind of come in here to get a drink. And then... Moved on. Which was nice of them. Now we're going to purposefully pick on the leeches. Purposefully antagonize them. So that we can get through here. <laughs> Here, no. I heard a gnome, but didn't see a gnome. Low key, a disappointment. I wonder how long it's going to take me to get through this part of the story. See, it's going to be a second. I'm going to set the joy cards down long enough to fix. My earphones. My hair managed to get underneath my headphone again. <laughs> That's like the one problem I have with having curly hair. Or should I say wavy hair? Because my hair is not. It's not super curly, it's just wavy. So the hair around my ears kind of does the silly sometimes when I'm wearing headphones. I did that on purpose. I felt like I needed to die one more time because I haven't died in a good minute. <laughs> I actually did do that on purpose because I, I've never actually tried to see if I could go over there. that way before actually doing the other thing instead I was like never thought of it and I had this insane inkling to try it and see if I could do it like a dummy and clearly I can't so all I can do is sit here and be like what was I thinking why would I think that that would have a different result than it had? <laughs> but hey, it makes this funnier to watch, I suppose. entirely I do believe that I only need to get it down there I swear if I'm wrong and I'm not doing it correctly I'm gonna be annoyed with myself because
I guess I'm wrong because he won't freaking go over it. I guess I have to do it further down. Gosh dang it. Bear with me here, guys. I'll get it. I'm just having trouble because it's it's been a while. No, because that just goes all the way down. Almost. What am I doing wrong? Am I right and I'm just not getting there fast enough? I am so confused as to what the problem is here right now. Of course you would get stuck. Come on. Go up. Stop there, and then I push you over. Really? See, I was right the whole time. He just wasn't making it fast enough. Wow! The ridiculousness. The sheer ridiculousness. Okay. But wait, Granny is back. understand why you kept doing that but seven please I do not have to go over there because I already have that collectible so it's not necessary Push it or pull it? Or do I not do anything with it at all? I guess I don't do anything with that at all. It's right there, so I assume I do something with it, but clearly I'm wrong. Oh, Granny. Yeesh. Think about there. Oh, no. He wouldn't get up. I don't know why he wouldn't get up, but he wouldn't get up. <laughs> why would he get up? I was literally pushing my joystick to go that way, and it wasn't letting me go. 
See, this is why I don't need to be fallen. <laughs> Bad things happen when I fall. I'm only 20 minutes into this and this is already chaos. I'm very good at making chaos happen, aren't I? Uh, while I slowly readjust my foot was trying to fall asleep again that's like the only problem I have with where I'm sitting to do my recordings now I'm more comfortable but if I get too comfortable my foot starts to fall asleep underneath me because sometimes I sit a certain way. Okay, this was what I was trying to do last time and it didn't work quite in my favor. Ah, no! He did it again. Gosh dang it. What happened that time? Why did he go all the way around when I went to jump back? The confusion there is immeasurable, not gonna lie. <laughs> I'll get it. It'll take a couple minutes probably, but I will get it. I do wish the load times weren't so slow for the Switch version. The load times aren't this slow on the second one for Switch. I don't understand why it's so slow for this version. For the first one. It, it's kind of weird. It's not bad. There have been more atrocious load times than that. Trust me. I've played plenty of games that have more atrocious load times than that. Okay. See, why couldn't you have done that? Well, ago. Okay, swing, child, swing. A little bit further, seven. You can do it. Okay, and then I can grab this. She'll go over there. Damn it. Okay, I need to be faster then, I guess. Jeez Louise. I don't remember this being such a tedious experience, but apparently it is. I'm trying to do this without coughing or anything because uh, my throat is a little sore. Oh man, I gotta do this again. I don't know, I woke up this morning and I had like that scratchy, itchy feeling that one gets to the back of their throat when uh... Please do not. That was close. <coughs> when, um, I forgot what I was trying to say. 
<laughs> I got so distracted by what just happened there that I forgot what I was trying to say. Ah, yes. Because I feel like being a goofball. Okay, it's not gonna go in. <laughs> I was gonna see if I could get it in there. I have gotten it in there before, and I think I got an achievement for it. I think. Because it did a weird little thing where it was like it was saving. Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? I hate, I need to do this before I can do that. I wasn't fast enough. Still not fast enough. Jesus Christ. There we go. <laughs> Good thing about this room is no granny. Okay, it was not high enough to be doing that. I should have jumped faster. I normally jump instead of climbing down. That's why I did that, but I realized too late that it was shallow by that point, and I was like, well, shit. It's okay, though. I, I, I'll be fine. And then, upsie daisy. You're kidding me. child. You can't be hungry. I just gave you food. <laughs> That's my cat. 
Lots of mittens. He wasn't originally my cut. I kind of just inherited him from... What the hell? I inherited him when he, uh... When certain people abandoned him. I'm not gonna name names. If you know, you know. If you're friends with me, then you you know. Because I've told you. <coughs> but it has to do with certain people in my family. And in my life in general. Yikes! Oh boy. Ah! Run, child, run! Pick up the key. Run, seven! Into puzzly areas. My dad just got home. I know because my dog is whiny. My dog is like, Grandpa. <laughs> That way, y'all don't have to listen to him whine. Okay. Now that Waffle Homes are in order, I'm gonna continue with my nonsense. Um. Button, 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 button. I walked right past the button. I walked past it again. Press the button, seven. You goofy child. Okay, so the trick with this is or at least my trick with it, is to put them over here. And then... come over... and press the button, and then I can just jump from that platform to them, and across. Because... Patiently speaking, you can literally jump like that. Now, I'm sure other people do it a little differently than I do it, but I, I, I do it that way because it's simpler for me. And my dog is now chasing flies. There's a fly in the house. And he's chasing them. Get it, puppy! Get the fly! Get that little sucker out of my house. <laughs> you do not want to accidentally fall in there. That is immediate death. In case no one knew that already. <laughs> Hi, Granny. Being 
getting creepy again, I see. That was a close one. Okay. And... Shit. Be like that. Why you do me this way? It'd be a simple one and done thing, but Granny's like, nah. <laughs> Granny says, snatch. It's not worse than the mannequins in Little Nightmares, too. It's not worse than that. Trust me. It's it's annoying, yes, but it is nowhere near as bad as the mannequins in 2. Because those mannequins, man, they give my anxiety anxiety. When you have anxiety slash panic disorder and then you play a video game with a section that is literally built to give one anxiety, Oof. And yet I still play it. Cause I'm a dang psychopath. And I don't know when to quit. Okay, that's not gonna work. <coughs> I have to make the jump perfectly in order for that to work. Forty minutes. Forty. Painstakingly annoying minutes so far. Ooh, excuse me. That was a Coca-Cola talking to you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm sitting here drinking a Coca-Cola. Which is hilarious, because I'm, I'm normally drinking a Mountain Dew when I do these recordings. But not this time. Nah, I gotta be... Drinking a Coca-Cola this time. Swim faster! Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <coughs> I 
I'm just gonna go up all the way and just go through here. I don't need to do the rest of that. Um. Okay, just drop. Yep. Dropping is fine. Gosh, this shirt is super bright in that light. <laughs> is fine. I should theoretically be able to make that. We'll, we'll see, won't we? I think I can make it. Down we go. Again. Whoopee. Yay. Okay, where did it land? Is this it? No, that's a can. Where did it land? Where did it land? There's also a can. Where did it land? Can. That is also, once again, the can. There it is. I guess I need to push this over here. That way I can actually get it up here and then push it back. That's gonna be annoying. <coughs> puzzly, puzzly, puzzly. Puzzly, puzzly, puzzly. Oh. My ring is being a ring and being goofy. got stuck for a second there. Don't know how, don't know why. Why aren't you grabbing the ladder? Why aren't you glad? There we go. I just said glad. <laughs> English, Sammy. English. Simple enough, right? With his noisy little feet. Hello, 
again, Granny. I was taking a drink. <laughs> I stopped to take a drink and she's just like, yay, snack. <laughs> Rude. How dare you. I was just minding my own business. I was fine. I was chilling. And then you're like, nah, you're gonna be my snack and you're gonna like it. And I'm just like, no, I don't wanna. <laughs> uh. Okay, so don't stay over there too long. You did not swing quite the way I wanted you to. That's annoying. Swim, child, swim! Now for more puzzly puzzles. She's tired of me getting away. She's like, I will have you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm just like, nah. Because he goes around it when he's supposed to be pushing it. And it results in me just not being able to do it because it's one second off. <laughs> That's like my only one of my few gripes with this is, is that if you're even a millisecond off, it will purposefully mess you up just to mess you up and it, it can be quite annoying when it does that this is one of those instances where it is annoying now I gotta do this again hopefully he'll actually grab the lever the first time this try and as soon as I say that he doesn't do it surprised. This game has such a nice sound design, I swear. It, the sound design is great. he'd stop running around the TV, I'd be done with this already. 
Jesus Christy, why? I'm not, I'm like, I went right to it that time, and he still went around it instead of pushing it. I don't understand. <laughs> like, I'm trying my danged hardest here. To get this done easily without too much annoyance. And it's just proving to be more annoying with each passing second. Which is kind of not okay. Like, seriously, what is with the whole you not wanting to push it and just running around it. Like, what is the deal there? I don't understand you game. You were right there. You grabbed it. I felt it because I felt the Joy-Con vibrate. So I know he grabbed it. So what the hell happened there? I just got over being sick recently, so I'm really not wanting to deal with that kind of stuff again. And there you have it. Could have had that the first time, but he didn't want to freaking push it immediately, which cost me both of those times. Why did I turn the flashlight on? I do not need the flashlight right now. Roger caught us because of course he did and then there's just Six sitting there. She about break out. <laughs> Loading screens. Loading screens, loading screens that take forever. I don't know. I'm being weird because I can't be okay. Get used to it. It's my job. <laughs> it's my job to be weird because being weird is entertaining. I can't just sit here in silence the whole time and it'd be boring. I always feel bad when I'm having bad days and I try to record and I don't talk a lot. Because I just, I feel like you guys don't really enjoy that very much. But at the same time, I'm just like, I'm gonna do it anyway because it's like an outlet for me. I do this because it helps reduce my stress gnomes 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 come 
sick, gnomes. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not six. I'm not six. I won't hurt you. I want to be your friend. Sick. And he gets stuck. Poor little guy. I'll help you. See, I want to be your friend. The hugs. was an impressive throw I just had there, wasn't it? <laughs> and that's not far enough. Well, it was far enough, but I wasn't close enough for it to matter. Another gnome. Over here. Give me, little guy. Give me hugs. Okay, now I'm going to casually throw you up here. Because I have to. Because puzzles. Funkies! Now I go free your friend. Or our friend, rather. Because he's going to be our friend. Another hug for you. I'm facing the wrong direction. Gosh dang it. Do I throw them or do I push? I push. That's what I thought I was supposed to do, but I wasn't sure, so I decided to throw them first just to see. Because there is a little handle there, but clearly they aren't going to make that handle, so. Come on, my gnome children. Oh gosh, that sounds so bad when I say it now. <laughs> Tis my children. My, my, I'm literally just the parents of all of these little gnomes. This, get up here, pull this, and then they start doing that. Whoopee. 
Okay, sorry, I'm back. I took a tiny little break. I had to. But I'm back now. Do -do 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 -do. Come here, Nom. I'm friendly. I'm friendly, I promise. Come back. I just want a hug. And unfortunately, they have to stay there until I'm done. I could take them back over there, but I'd rather just take them all at once. Ouch, my cankles. <laughs> um, jump, please. And now I have to sneak around again. Roger always getting in my way. Like I can't ever do nothing without Roger being there. Roger. Yeah, being obnoxious again with your obnoxiously long arms. It's such a squeaky, creaky door, I swear. They all are. They're all just obnoxiously noisy. It's like they they need some oil. <laughs> oil on the hinges. I always gotta turn this sucker back on this way. Whoa, I almost fell. That would have sucked. <laughs> that would have sucked a lot. Now for a 
another one of these. Just grab this and we go on our merry little way. Gosh dang it, my ear is just horrible time to have an itch on your ear of all places. While wearing headphones. so hard to avoid him sometimes when you're just slowly walking constantly. he had his hand underneath there. I guess not. Anyway. Moving on. Gnomes! Gnomes! Fun begins. Hugs and um. Now for the tricky one. The ones that run away from you are always the tricky ones to get to. right there. Gotcha! That's another one down. So, if little mister will get out of my way. Gnomes! I love you, I do, but...
Ah! Shit. Sometimes he wants to do it, and sometimes he doesn't. Now I'm gonna have to pull that out just to be able to do it again if I mess up again. Great. There we go. Another gnome down. Okay, I guess I did have to throw him. I thought maybe he would follow. Apparently, I was wrong. Gosh dang it. Now I gotta go back over there just to get him. Because the other ones jumped off the table the first time. So I thought... There you go. Why didn't you do that while ago? Come on! Come on! Okay, and upsy daisy. Upsy daisy. Upsy daisy. Today's again. And up today's again. And again. It's so weird how it doesn't just go down when they are on it. I, I have to be on it for it to go down. That is so weird to me. Excuse me. Gum that freaking Coca Cola earlier. <laughs> okay, buddies. Come on. I guess I didn't hug him before. I thought I did. He got stuck. He got stuck. He couldn't go. That happens sometimes. I don't know why. Go on to the next section, which is sometimes low key annoying to do because I have to chase them down again, and it's a little bit harder this time. Roger's back in. Hello again, Roger.
Okie dokie then. Fairly simple, isn't it? Gotta go get a gnome. Gotta go get a gnome. go there you go buddy you're free now give me hugs I didn't mean to let go of him <laughs> I need him for the ladder la 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 Upsy dizzy we go. It's not gonna go over how quickly I can actually make it through these. In comparison to how long it used to take, because I didn't know what I was doing. There is definitely a difference when you've played it before and when you haven't played it before. Because when you've played it before, you can actually speed run it if you want to. Which is, hilariously enough, kind of what I'm doing. But not really what I'm doing, because I have died a couple times and that, that kind of ruins speed runs, you know? But I don't do this to speedrun it, I just do it because it's fun. Because I like these kinds of games, and I like having fun with them. I like how they're just, they're so helpful. Oh. He let go. He wasn't supposed to let go. <laughs> now for the slightly annoying part. that time. Nice. That normally takes forever. The other one's probably gonna take forever though. If we're being honest. Okay, little buddy, I need you to pull this lever for me. take forever at all. Wow, that did not take nearly as long as it normally does. Maybe I'm getting better at it. Because <laughs> normally I have to try for quite a while before I can actually get them, but that did not take any time to do. Which is shocking. Okay, and now I have three gnomes. And this thing that I have to push. It's a slow process. 
a very, very slow process. I pushed it too far. I forgot. I have to do this first. Okay, stop. Stop. Maybe we'll do it from here, am I? No, I'm not. Guys! I don't want to pick you up. As cute and adorable as you are, I am not trying to pick you up right now. this lever and then we can finish pushing it all the way down the railroad tracks. I thought one of my gnomes was about to get run over there. I was about to cry. It's like, no, my gnomes. Okay, now you guys just need to come over here. Keep up, little guy. It's important that you keep up. Come down here. And now, we actually pull this that I ignored earlier. <laughs> because they come down when you pull it. And we lead them into this big room so they can assist the rest of them. flashlight because I need it for like a second. Now the gnomes are going to help move the ding. Thank you so much. You know, the very first time that I had any interaction with this game, I didn't actually realize that there were shadows of children underneath them. It did not register in my brain at the time, 
but they do. So it, it foreshadows quite well. Bye, gnomes. Goodbye, my friends. I'll miss you. I would really miss you in the freaking part to come because this next part's gonna be annoying. She just looks up at me like that, and all I can think is, does she actually know I'm there, or does she not? Because it, they never really give you any confirmation on whether or not if she can see you or not. But it is whatever. Not that important of information, so it's fine. We're already at an hour and 39 minutes, and some of that time was spent with me just not even doing anything. So this, this video is probably going to be longer than the last one was. I am just going to go ahead and finish it off, though, because this is the last section. So I should be able to do it with no issues so long as I keep up with it. But it is going to give me issues because this is the more frustrating part of the game, <laughs> in my opinion. Because of what I have to deal with in this chapter. There's just a little gnome standing up there by himself. Oof. That it. My cankles. I'm not sorry. to do all of this now. Joy. Joy, joy, joy. We got this boy first to the next boy first. I can't remember. I don't think it matters, actually. It's the other one. Figured I would check. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, maybe that one? No. Definitely, right? I uh, go up here. Or 
or not. I gotta move it. My bad. Now we go up. Puzzle book. Wa da 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 da. You gotta be really careful jumping down from there. You can actually jump and kill yourself by accident if you're not directly aimed where you need to be to land on that. Trust me, I know I've done it before. Okay, it's open. Now I can just push it the rest of the way. Faster, that'd be great. I believe I take it all the way over here because I believe this is the decoy one. I'm almost certain it's the decoy one. this one down to the puzzle piece room and set it in its proper spot. Says I immediately get it in the wrong spot. Okay. Now that that is over with, I can go this way. That music is very soothing, but it's also very ominous for reasons. <laughs>
There we go. that one, right? All these creepy little statues. Okay, so... This one's always a bit of a tricky one to figure out sometimes because you have to actually like really look at it. Okay, and that other one. It's not that one, it's this one over here. Got it! Fairly easy. Did I get it? No, I didn't. I got turned to stone because I couldn't get to the shadow in time. How did I miss that twice? I threw it twice and missed twice. This isn't even the hard part of this part of the game. This is just the... Me being terrible at landing things, apparently. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. It's fine. It's not impossible. I'm just a little clumsy. Ah, uh, yes. Start me right here. That's perfect. Come on. This game makes no sense sometimes. Uh. Oh, yeah. 
this, the music begins. And I know that I'm in for it. Quite literally, I saw that. I saw you. You're not sneaky, children. You're far from sneaky. Far from it. Okay, which one is this one? The triangle? Triangle. And now the lights go out. I saw that. You're not sneaky. I don't have the key. Whoops! <laughs> I walked off the edge. <laughs> Oops. How many times have I walked off the edge of something? How many times? Like, genuinely speaking. How many times have I done it? This playthrough. Because I feel like I've done it a lot. almost two hours in, but it's fine. I got this. Don't ever say I got this. Don't, do not do what I just did, because whatever you say... goes wrong. going to try to casually make my way over here without dying. I saw that. You're not sneaky. in the door. Put it in the lock. I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> um. Can't go all the way down there. There is a collectible down there. I don't need to go down there. I should have just gone forward. I don't know why I thought I needed to go further down.
Ah, you got sick. Thanks. No thanks. I can go without. I don't need to do that. I just realized there's an opening there. And I will die if I go that way. I'm sorry. Ah! Why did you jump off the ladder? on a bike, man! I didn't say that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I didn't go Irish for a second. I don't know what you're talking about. Now I sound Scottish. <laughs> Great. What? What is Scottish? <laughs> I'm not Scottish. I don't know why I'm able to do that accent so well. I can only do it for certain words, though, if I'm being honest. I, I don't think I could keep it up for... ever. Irish, on the other hand, I could do perfectly because I'm half Irish. So it comes to me natural, like... <coughs> oh god, I don't want to deal with this next part. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Do I have to? Why did my light go off? My light... My light just sabotaged me. My light sabotaged me. Ha! <laughs> My light was like, I'm gonna go off and make sure that you mess up. That's what happened there. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, man. Goodness gracious. I can do this. It's fine. <laughs> I never wonder why I hate this part.
This is why. It's anxiety inducing. And it's not the only instance where I have to deal with that kind of stuff because the second game has the mannequins. And the mannequins are almost worse. Oh, who am I kidding? They're much worse because they're so much harder to deal with. He wouldn't turn around at time. <laughs> Dang it, seven. We almost had it that time. I was about to be home free, and then Seven was like, nah, I'm gonna not turn around when you need me to. Dang it, Seven. <laughs> Dang it. Yes, I'm purposely putting on a southern tone for that. Dang it. Definitely doing that on purpose because I'm trying to mask how annoyed I actually am. Be gone! stuck. That's gonna cost me. They didn't run. <laughs> run, child. Why won't you run? <laughs> I hit the button and everything. I'm almost there. I just gotta get him to make it through this last little bit. <laughs> But he doesn't want to. He wants to take forever. Or maybe I just got greedy. That might be it. <laughs> it may just be me making the mistake of thinking I could do it. When I said this part was annoying, I meant it. It's annoying. spawn. <laughs> I swear they are. Okay. I did it! Also, in case anyone's curious, if you want a secret, just walk along that and there's a Bit of secret in there that you can get if you want it. 
especially if you're going for completionist like I did when I played this originally. And now we have all the pieces of the puzzle, and I can move on with my life and be done with this chaos. I just have to make it down here, which takes forever because I'm not exactly the fastest person in the world, despite the fact I'm a tiny person, and you'd think tiny people be faster. Oh yes, the broken mirrors return. The broken mirrors are back again. She's so upset that I saw her face. She's so very, very upset about it. She's like, you're not supposed to see my face. Well, I did, unfortunately for her. And now she's being dramatic. And her dramatics are going to lead to my doom. That's the secret. That's not the secret that I expected it to be, though. <laughs> I'm mainly just trying to make progress. And I go to this door, another broken mirror. There's broken mirrors everywhere. This way now. Ambik. Not that you will know that I was gone to begin with, but uh, I had to take a tiny break again for a second. I apologize, I kind of left without learning there. Again, it's not like you will notice that I was even gone, but I'm apologizing anyway because I'm apologizing for the edit cut that I know is going to be there. Because it's an edit cut when we're almost to the end of the game, and it's kind of silly that I would have an edit cut that close to the end. And there are the ridiculously gluttonous stinkers again. I could come up with an insult off the top of my head, so I just called them stinkers. That's my bad. Just go through here. And then we go over here. Someone is shooting a gun outside, and I don't know how I feel about it. I know it's hunting season, time of the year kind of thing, but still. Oop. And the reveal.
thus my original disappointment with six for this game becomes even worse because the gnome that she ate is seven. And I hate that it's seven because that just makes it worse. It's bad enough that it was a cute little gnome, but now I know that it's seven. <laughs> Horrible. Horrible, I say. Just horrible. And for some reason, I can't skip this. I have to sit through it, but it's okay because there's a little tidbit at the end here that teases the next game. The next thing, game that is literally a prequel to this game, so I honestly I should have played it first, but I didn't. But it's fine. We will be playing that one either way because it'll be the next one we do for this. On that note, that rather depressing note, R.I.P. 7. R.I.P. <laughs> I, I hate that he is the gnome that she ate. It just makes it so much worse. Anyway, that was... Little Nightmares. The next time you see me, it'll be Little Nightmares too. So be prepared for that nonsense. <laughs> On that note, thanks. Thanks for putting up with my nonsense, as always. Bye!